details of the next I know. Season. Tell us all the things. In excruciating detail. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so you were Jack the Ripper for a hot second. It was a hot second. Yeah. Um, so now that you kind of excise that particular demon, is it going to be more um, kind of personal struggles after this, or are you? I hope there's less struggles with that stuff. That story, that was painful, and I'm done with that. Uh, I'm sure they'll find another reason for it. I'm sure. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, but I. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I was telling the others, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a reboot season, you know, it's tying back to season one. So get back to the darkness, get back to the foreboding sense that something is around the corner, there's an under, kind of underbelly that's, you know, slowly going to kind of overrun the city or open up their lives. And, um, it's going to be nice and dark, which is, I think, a, a great return, because I think there was this kind of levity and fun of the gang, and the Scooby gang, and I think it's like, all right, you know what, she's dead, this is gone, this happened, everybody's mourning, everybody, and it just get back to that darkness, which I think we did so well in the season one. Are we going to see these types of conflict, maybe, between Nick and... And your character I'd like that. The, I, uh, I prefer when there's more conflict in Buddy Buddy. Just because, I mean, you guys had, uh, you were with Adeline for a long time, you guys had that on and off type that's, of... That's a messy situation. Yeah, it's very messy, <laughs> and now Nick with the most Adeline. most fertile woman in the world. It's unbelievable. Um, hopefully that's the end of Babies. That'd be nice. Um, I'm sure it'll lead to something, I mean, because if you think about it, which I just did, um, <laughs> Nick and I have shared kind of love triangles with every woman he's involved with. Yeah, you guys I never even thought about that. A little bit, yeah. I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure like there's something to it. But I'd like to see us butt heads. Um, I think there's I think there's a, a much more interesting dy dynamic when he suspects me and doesn't know what I am capable of, and I have something plotting. Yeah, I, 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 I think that makes for very interesting going Would that possibly come in form of you becoming the new king? I don't know what's going to happen with the monarchy. I know that uh, there's uh, going to be some sort of political... Uh, I think there's going to be a political position for him. He's going to be like sort of vying for some, some position of power. Uh, as always, but I think it's more kind of localized. I think there's just something coming to Portland or this region. I, all I can tell you is like an insurgency that's going to bubble over, and all factions are going to play a part, and it's going to be kind of like a, you know, a real sort of uh, crossroads between all the different storylines that you've, you've seen over the years, including the Keys, including the under uh, you know, resistance, including the CIA, including all these things are coming together. So it's going to be very interesting. Is Renard going to be affected by um, Juliet's death at all? Uh, or how is we it? All, I think we all are, but I think for Renard it's, it's what it always has been. It's, you know, he keeps his cards close to the chest, and I think it's really more about Nick. He needs Nick, and if that's going to affect Nick in some contrary way, and he's going to run away, implode, whatever the case may be, that is much more important to me than perhaps losing her. You know, because he needs him more than he needs her. Cool, thank you. Thank you.